I'm Azrael Knox, and today I'm going to be having a quick glance at Bulb Boy for the PC. Bulb Boy is a monochromatic, pretty straightforward, point-and-click adventure game with some adventure elements and really cool, surreal elements that'll probably have you going... <coughs> or... <laughs> more times than you'd imagine with a title such as this one. Overall, barring a few major problems, it's really, really good. It's well flowing, it's mind-blowingly surreal, it's very intuitive, and it's absolutely jam-packed with horrific and heartwarming imagery. It just slides so well together in such an unholy, perfect juxtaposition that when I'm playing it, I'm unsure whether to feel horrified or touched by its ever-changing mood. Add to that the simple yet amazing soundtrack that subtly emphasises each scene that you're in for a hell of a treat. That is, if you can overlook some pretty glaring bugs. I really, really wish I could overlook these, but they're just game-breaking and I had to restart at least three times to get as far as I have. Since I haven't finished the game yet, due to the bugs, I can't give you a fully formed opinion on it, but from what I've seen, with how far I've gotten, I'd recommend it if you've got the patience to restart the game if you run into any issues. I bought it in the Bump in the Night bundle on Steam, and if you're interested in Bulb Boy, I suggest doing the same, because it also comes with Toby the Secret Mine, which I also want to cover a later date, and Albert and Otto, which I haven't played yet. That was my quick glance at Bulb Boy. Overall, I like it. I really do. I just really wish they'd fixed the bugs. If you've got any other games you'd like me to have a glance at, by all means, let me know. I'd be very interested to hear. I'm starting to run out of Master System and Mega Drive games. Shh. All in all, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs>